assalamu alaikum my dear students having hope that you will be fine at home and also having hope that you will be going through these lectures which your teachers have delivered to you class 11th subject history now today we will discuss the last topic of this um, chapter that is military revolution in europe military revolution the 17th century has been referred as a period of military revolution 17th century that means from renaissance which has started in 14th century in europe and up to 17th century we find many developments takes place in Europe especially in the field of science technology astronomy astronomy astrology and similarly religious in the field of religious we find that the European is the European scholars uh, became able to free men from the bondage of the uh, Roman Catholic Church. And similarly, in other fields, they were also having, uh, they were also having tremendous speed of development. And up to 17th century, we find that there was a period of military revolution of the pre, of the pre-modern age. Because 17th, after 18th century, we find modern age, especially in Europe. But this was the last um, century of the um, medieval age. The zeal of consolidation led to the Dutch. We find that the, especially industrial revolution when takes place in industrial revolution. When it takes place in Europe, we find that large number of goods were produced and they need large number of service. Thus, this surplus goods which they got from their industries, they had to trade with other uh, countries of the world. Thus, we find that the European plunged into this race, industrial revolution, in the 15th century or 16th century and they made tremendous growth um, in trading with other parts of the world. With the passage of time, they were finding out and race for the zeal of colonization. As you are familiar with that, they were uh, finding out themselves more and more colonies in uh, underdeveloped countries, especially in uh, Africa and Asia, just like Dutch, Dutch, English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, Portuguese, they fight constant wars, not in their own continent, but in Asia and Africa, they fought constant wars, repeated wars in their colonies. That means in Asia and Africa. We find that in India, we are witness it because we are Indian. We find a large number of battles took place, wars took place between English, Portuguese, Dutch, French in India. And Thus, we find that the force, the fostered, it fostered the separate for technological military invention. Technological military invention. Technological military inventions. That means, the these countries give much more attention towards their. Mm, military technology towards their military equipment towards their military training so that they grab more and more colonies in Asia and Africa. 
which also could assure an upper hand in the force. These military technologies, these military equipment, these military up-to-date modern trainings helped them to make upper hand in the wars in colonies. Thus, we find that the Europeans gave much more stress upon the military strength upon the military strength of their own so that they became able to make more and more colonies in Asia and Africa and these colonies helped their economy on one side these colonies they traded uh, their surplus goods which industries were made because up to date time the, the uh, European uh, Asian and African countries were not having industrial revolution thus they uh, bought these items in, in Europe from Europe thus we find that in India they can fought constant wars and it was late English became able to defeat French, Portuguese, Spinders in India. And thus the 17th century can be regarded as the big leap. 17th century is considered as a big leap. Big leap and big leap and ignorant and uh, from ignorance to awareness from ignorance to awareness awareness in military strength in europe the european world was more progressive than in the past century it has been estimated that the last year the last hundred years they were much more progressive progressive as compared to hundreds of years before this period but it was the only rivalry of european nations to each other in various parts of the asia and africa and wanted to get more and more colonies which helped their resources on one side and they got uh, and they got raw materials to feed their industry on one side and also uh, they got uh, availability of labor which indus their industries needed thus this we can say that it was the, the 17th century was the age of military revolution and thank you this was all today's topic uh, topic military revolution and it was also last question of your um, and this unit and inshallah we will set out um, tomorrow next unit that is confrontation of cultures thank you